So welcome to another JavaScript tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be looking at passing variables through a function. So if you don't know what a function is you need to watch the one of the previous tutorials um, and I'll put an annotation up so that you can go there. Um, if you've watched that tutorial then you're ready to start. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to pass a variable through a function. So let's say we've got a function called um, greeting like that, what will happen is they can put in here like their name or something and that greeting will be customized to them. So we're going to use that as our example here. So what we need to do first is create our function. So we're going to do function and then give it a name. So we're going to call it greeting and then in here all we're going to do is alert and then we're just going to say um, hello and then and. Okay, this bit I'm going to stop here so I can just show you. Uh, what we need to do is we need to put a variable here. So I'm going to call it name here uh, and just put name there. And I'll explain this in a moment. Well, I'll explain it now. So basically, what we're doing is we're creating a normal function. So the user will be able to do greeting. And then like that to start variable to start function and instead of just putting this they're going to need to put an extra value here so they're going to need to put for example their name so i'm going to put my name as being neil and what's going to happen is it's going to take this and it's going to put it inside this variable name when we start the function and then we can retrieve this inside of that function if that makes sense so we're going to get this name variable from here so we're going to get the name variable here uh, get it from here uh, which is getting it from here it's just a big long chain of uh, variables so let's just run this in Chrome and it says hello Neil uh, the reason there was no space in it is because we need to put a space there that's not the point of the tutorial so I'll basically repeat what I just said we are taking a variable in through the function so here we're taking in the name so I put Neil here and we are going to pass that through to the function greeting and that is going to go there so it's basically going to fill this in with Neil here but we'll leave that as name and then this is just going to take that and put it here okay so that's pretty much what passing uh, variables does we could also put a number in here, so we could put 65 or something. And we put 65. It's going to say hello 65, but that's not the point. Hello 65. So this takes uh, each type of uh, JavaScript variable type, not just text. So this is really useful when you've got dynamic functions. Like you don't have a function for every single possible name. Uh, you can just do it like this. So it's making our uh, JavaScript programs a little bit more dynamic. So thank you for watching this tutorial. Don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe and I'll see you in the next tutorial.